How much will Christian Wood help fortify the Dallas Mavericks after their surprising trip to the Western Conference Finals? Not even three weeks after their season ended with a 4-1 loss to the Golden State Warriors, the Mavericks have agreed to an intriguing deal that adds a highly productive big man who has yet to get a chance to translate his skill set in a winning environment. Wood has yet to start a game for a team that finished better than 33-49. At $14, 3 million in 2022-23, the final season of his contract, Wood is a good value for the upcoming season. Still, trading four players for one will add to Dallas luxury tax bill, which will skyrocket if the Mavericks are able to resign starting point guard Jalen Brunson as an unrestricted free agent. How well will Wood fit in Dallas as the Mavericks aim to build a sustainable contender around star Luka Doncic? And what's next for the Houston Rockets after dealing one of their few proven veteran players? Let's break down the implications of this deal, which cannot be officially completed until after the June 23rd NBA draft. Mavericks get Christian Wood Rockets get Colin 2022 first round pick, no. 26 Boban Marjanovic Marquise Chris Dre Burke Sterling Brown adding Wood is an interesting response to Dallas' run to the West Finals. Presumably, the Mavericks wanted to add another big man capable of stretching the floor. They had their most postseason success with Maxi Kleber or even Davis Burtons in the middle rather than starter Dwight Powell, who did not make a three-pointer in their postseason run. Like Kleber, Wood is capable of filling an increasingly important role in the modern NBA, playing power forward during the regular season then sliding down to center in the playoffs as teams downsize. Wood's ability to both make threes, he shot a career-high 39% last season on a robust 5.8 attempts for 36 minutes, nearly as many as Kleber's 6. Three attempts, and provide a modicum of rim protection will give Dallas coach Jason Kidd the flexibility to play him with any of the team's other front court options. The lingering question is whether Wood can be good enough defensively to excel at either spot. He can be stretched by smaller, quicker power forwards out on the perimeter and is a below average rim protector.